what is up brown girl tribe this is your girl drea coming to you live and direct hopefully you all have an amazing day of course any day above ground is amazing right um i was just watching this video by Iyanla Van Zet. Um, I like to call her Mama Iyanla. I've been following her work since I was 17, 18. Since my basketball coach gave me one of her devotion books for my graduation gift and fell in love with her, her demeanor, her assertiveness. And even though she's still a, a lady, as um, you know, a lot of women from that era, you know, my mom, my aunties, and you know, I take bits and pieces from Iyanla and sprinkle it into my life. And the clip was very disturbing when she was singing, and I agree. It was disturbing because she said there's so many women she come across that's um, that's mean, that's unkind, that's aggressive, that have that Timberland boot energy. Even though I'm an East Coast girl, I love my Timberlands, I work on being kind, I work on being compassionate, I work on smiling, I love to smile. I invest a lot of money and time into my oral care, and smiling makes me feel better. Even when I go to the stores, um, you know, I smile, I say thank you, you know, especially to the brothers who open the door for me because they don't have to do that. But there's so many women that I come across, and I live in the South now, and I've been living in the South since I was 18 on and off. So we're talking 20 plus years, and you know, the South is supposed to be home of um, Southern Bells, and I consider myself a Northern Southern Bell. And I'm not just going to say just the South. Everywhere that I go, the energy of women has been very mean, unkind. I work with a lot of women. I work with a lot of black women. And when I'm telling you, I have heard um, in my face and to my face, oh, Andrea, you need to stop being so kind to these students. They're going to run all over you. Um, no, ma'am. <laughs> I'm not changing who I am or the energy of who I am to be nasty because you're nasty to people to students and then you wonder why your life is not going in a direction that you want to go i'm not going to stop being who i am and me mug and have the timberland boot energy to match my timberlands on for that day or my hills or whatever to match energy with people i want people to come into my space better i want them to leave better People are broken, people are um, mean, people are unkind, and people are going through it. I am not going to be sprinkling my nastiness onto people who need a little bit of kindness. Even when I go into the stores, I ask the cashiers, like, hey, what's up, how's your day going? And I remember the other day, I was in the bookstore, I'm not saying what bookstore I was in, and the girl was just mean mugging me. I'm like, okay, sis, you're going to ring me up. Do you want to see my ID? And I was like, well, how's your day going? You having a good day? I guess. Ma'am, why you got to get an attitude with me? Whoever you got an attitude with, take that out on them. So before this year is over with, for those who may watch this and say, well, dang, Dre, you know, you may be talking to me. It's okay. You can nod your head. You can raise your hand. If you are if you have been that person that's been on, unkind, I want you to work on being kind. Being kind to yourself, number one. Whatever unresolved issues, trauma, drama, you've been holding on to for years, whether that's with your mom, your dad, whoever, I really want you to work on that. Going to therapy, it's terrifying, right? Because you may not end up with the right therapist. That's why it's, it's important to shop for a therapist. Admitting to a problem is terrifying. But admitting the problem to yourself, that's going to open that door of of healing. Um, admitting that you feel terrible when you're being mean to people. When you're being mean to yourself, saying unkind things to yourself, unkind things to people. That's not a good feeling, right? Like I said, I have to constantly work on kindness in this cruel, cold world. Um, working with the people that I work with, I have to work on it. It is not for the faint of hearts to be kind. Because do I want to get brown girl from Boston, my matter pen, get gutter? I sure do. But for what? I'm not going to be um, <laughs> going gutter when I can be goddess-like. I'm not going to be gutter when I can um, continue to be great, right? 
Um, but I'm a human as well, you know, and I let people know I have a boundary. You could be kind and have boundaries. I let people know you overstepping your boundaries. Um, and I say it with a smile. You will no longer talk to me crazy. You will no longer disrespect me in your speech. You will not yell at me. You would not cuss at me. And I have told my superior that you won't talk to me that way. And I suggest you shouldn't talk to other people that way. You get more of what honey do you do with, you know, the other word, right? So I want my sisters to do better in 2024 and beyond. Um, the world is not going to change. But we can all change our demeanor. We can all change the direction how we want our lives to go. Um, we can change how we respond to people and respond to things. Um, I've been through the darkest times of my life within the last, um, oh God, three, four years. A lot of people didn't know that. And I showed up on social media. I showed up to work with a smile on my face, um, being kind while going through a divorce. While going through all the ish I was going through, um, those days I wanted to do, like I said, the Timberland Boot energy, but I still have to work through the kindness, you know. Um, I have to work through my own baggage and unresolved issues and my issues, you know, I was going through with my divorce and with my ex husband and all that. And it's still, I still was kind, I still was compassionate, I still was being gentle with myself and with other people, right. Um, so I want you all to work on that. Work on being kinder or kind. Let's start with that, which is self first. Forgive yourself. Admit that you have a problem. Take accountability. If 10 people say, sis, you've been mean to me. Listen before um, responding and getting an attitude. Because if you start getting an attitude when people have been saying these things about you, they're not hating on you, number one. So we need to also to eradicate that word. Oh, they hating on me. They're actually telling you something because they love you. They know that you can do better. But you choose not to be better because being unkind and mean has brought you attention. Being broken, being aggressive have brought you attention, negative attention. Okay? So start working on um, your attitude, your character. Stop talking about, I'm in my bag because that's just a trauma response. Stop, you know, trying to... Um, be like this my rbf we know what rbf is your resting b face and you know be in your face with all this makeup and you still you have even worked on the inside that's matching your makeup or your fits or whatever the case is so this is just 11 message to my sisters for 2024 go check out that clip out i think like i said it's on angela Yee, the lip service i don't watch angela Yee. i just um i saw someone do a reaction video to it so Sis, I love y'all. Work on being more kind. You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised of the blessings you will get when you are kind to yourself and you're kind to people. You know how people be like, oh, these dudes, they ain't this, they ain't open the door. I don't have those issues um, because I'm kind. I smile. I'm not saying I'm a, I am like smile like a, a psycho, but I smile. And I know um, every day when my dad texts me, we text every day. And I know I'm going on this whole tangent. My dad always say, continue to smile and brighten up the world and all the spaces you go into. And I do that. And so many people have tried to wipe my smile away and I'm not going to let them do that. They try to wipe my kindness away and I'm not going to give anybody that satisfaction because I work so hard on being the, the type of woman that I am. So I want you all to work on being amazing, dope fly women. Match your fly. Match the outer fly and the inner fly, right? Match those two the things together and you're going to be unstoppable. So that is the word for the day. Be kind, sis, for the 2024. Um, always be fly as well. And that's it. Be a great example. Much love and light to you all. Peace.